Yeah, I know, but you're, you're, oh my God, Jesus Christ, it's just gone vertical. Don't go, don't go. Hi, many review videos after the review list the company where you can buy the product. I don't call that a review, I call that a professional endorsement. So, what's one of the most dangerous things that one can do in the house? Changing a light bulb. Why? Because you have to use a ladder, and as we all know, ladders are dangerous. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. We work with a lot of quality focused air conditioning and solar companies. And so one of the key tools of trade for them, for example, are ladders. And also in our workshop here, we've got a short ladder, we've got a longer ladder, but we have a six point high ceiling. So we need to change sometimes LED lights all up the way. We've got no ladder to go there. So I went to the internet, I looked at some retailers and I found a product that looked perfect. 6.2 meter, not too expensive, can carry 150 kilos. I'm 85, so it's got a good safety margin. You know, I felt, let's have a look. But we do not have any storage space. So that's why we decided on getting an extendable telescopic ladder. And this extendable ladder, it actually seems to have quite a lot of good advantages. It's got good rubber feet for solid grip. I like these rib treads because they're the front and they're on the back. So whichever way you hold the ladder, you will always have this grip on the steps. So that's excellent. It's really only about a meter high, so quite easy to grab on the strap and to carry around. And when you carry it around the house, let's say you want to go two story, you have to do something up there. With a big ladder, you're trying to get it through the stairway. This thing is really excellent and it's got very different many settings. You can have it at a lower height, at a medium height. You can even use it on stairs because you can have it kind of one leg up and down. So that's all perfect. But let's see what obviously it has to perform as well, which is as a fully extendable 6.2 meter ladder because we purchased it mainly in our workshop to be able to get right up to the top of the ceiling. So let's have a look how it performs in that particular game. The flex and the associated safety risks basically meant I don't like it. The downside of the product that I can see so far is there was no safety instructions. Yes, there's some safety little notes on the ladder, but there was no brochure that actually told me about ladder safety. I think if you sell a ladder, give them a free ladder safety brochure. I would suggest the longevity issue is these things that expand and come down. If there's dust get on them, if their moisture get on them, I don't actually believe they're gonna come down quite easily. But really the big one, and for me, that's really a, a deal breaker, is the fact that when I'm up over maybe three meters, the flex really makes my cornflake come back up. So the real question is, will people trust their life on a telescopic ladder? And the answer is no. When it comes down to the advertisements that suggest it can reach up to 6.2 meters, maybe a three meter version might be okay, but it is definitely not suitable for the advertised height. I also used it outside in a real life situation. And as you can see in that video that we've just taken now, and as I'm getting onto it, you can see my weight straight away pushes it closer to the wall. So it's kind of nearly, now nearly in a 90 degrees up on the wall. I don't want to climb up that way in that angle because I feel like I could fall off any time. I would say ban this product from Australia. It's not safe, not at 6.2, maybe a short version, but this particular version, I don't like it. I'm gonna ask for a refund. So on a work site, most people think that the most dangerous tools are nail guns or circular saws or a jackhammer. But the most dangerous item, as we've just seen, is a ladder. It can be the most dangerous, especially if they're used by people who are over 50, just like Marcus. You know what, that hurts. What are some of the key considerations for safety and ladders? I can think of 10. Always use caution when working with heights. Wear a helmet as most serious fall injuries are head injuries. Make sure you operate on a non-slip surface and preferably have someone hold the ladder at the bottom of the ladder, not sideways. Do not overhang the ladder or have the ladder just near the support area as it might slip and you will fall. If working near electricity, don't use a metal ladder, but ensure the ladder is made of fiberglass or wood. Don't place a ladder on soft ground. Consider providing employees with a handout of do's and don'ts for ladders to refer to after the training. And each time you use the ladder, inspect it for loose or damaged steps or loose screws. If defect, don't use it. Always face the ladder and use both hands to climb and descend. And always keep three limbs on the ladder at all times. I mean, there have been fatal accidents where people have slipped and fell on something that was below on the ground and actually that caused the main injury. I also would say never climb higher than the second step from the top. Uh, there's usually a mark on there. Don't go right up to the top of the ladder. And finally, um, can you consider the additional safety devices. You already said a helmet. Head injuries is one of the most serious injuries that somebody can have, and unfortunately, ladder falls can cause a lot of those. Now, if you follow those, and on our website, there are actually links where we have listed them all in writing. 
then you can actually have ladder safety and make sure you buy a product in the first place that does not endanger you anymore. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.